Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul, an international medical graduate. In today's video, I will talk about the NAC OSCE, that is what is NAC, why it is required, recent changes in the format of the exam. I took my NAC exam last September and passed with a superior performance. And I will share my experience in my next video. I have so many videos on MCC QEN examination such as preparation, resources, material and many more. If you haven't checked those videos yet, please check the link in the description below. And also subscribe to my channel, like, share with your friends if you find this video helpful. This will help to grow this channel and encourage me to make more videos like this. Now let's jump into the video. NAC OSCE is the National Assessment Collaborative Objective Structure Clinical Examination. It's a one-day exam and only for the international medical graduate. As the name suggests, it's an objective structured clinical examination. You must take the NAC exam if you want to apply to a Canadian residency program. Now the exam sessions. MCC offers two times a year, one in March and one in September. Due to the current issue, MCC had to postpone the March 21 session and September 21 session will be completely virtual. That means you do not need to go to the test center. Interestingly, you can appear at the exam even if you are not in Canada. Although the exam will be virtual, the exam blueprint and the weight of all competency domains remain the same from previous exam administrations. Candidate orientation will be available prior to the exam day on the MCC website. So I would encourage to keep an eye on the MCC website. In addition, like in-person exam, on the exam day there will be a candidate briefing and you will have the opportunity to ask any questions before the exam begins. For this year, the number of stations and the length of stations have changed. It consists of series of stations, a total of 11 OSCE stations, one pilot and 10 active stations that will count towards the final result. Each station is 10 minutes long with 2 minutes to read the instruction and 3 minutes between stations. Total duration would be roughly 5 hours with an approximate 10 minutes break midway through the exam. At each station, a brief written statement also known as doorway information introduces a clinical problem and outlines what you need to do such as taking a history, do a physical examination or counsel a patient. There will be one standardized patient and a physician examiner for each station. You will get a typical clinical scenarios from medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, psychiatry and from preventive medicine and public health. A physician examiner will observe your interaction with a standardized patient and will assess your competencies such as quality of history taking, diagnosis, management, communication skills, physical examination, investigations, and lastly data interpretation. Now the result. For the September 20 NAC exam session, no scores or subscores were reported. It was only pass or pass with a superior performance or fail. But for the upcoming session, September 21, NAC examination score will be reported on a new reporting scale which is yet to publish. Basically, each candidate will receive two score reports the statement of results that includes your final result and total score and the supplemental information report that will be presented graphically to indicate your relative strengths and weakness in three broad domains of physician activities such as assessment and diagnosis, management and lastly communication skills. Approximately 15 weeks after the last day of the exam session you will receive your result through your physician's applied.c account. That's all for today. In my next video, I will share my NAC OSCE exam that I passed with a superior performance. Till then, stay connected. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. And also like, share, comment, and turn on the notification icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.